I've always been very good at starting things. From a humble effort to almost successful story. I met somebody who was working in Manchester. This was David Yates. And he told me that he, was, that he surveyed the outcome of trauma in the UK, which was very poor. And so he wanted to do a major trauma outcome study. Talking with him, I said, you should come to my department and convince people to join in that program with you, if you allow. So he came to Leuven, I went to Manchester, and we started together the major trauma outcome study. In 90, this same man had the meeting, the Morris Ellis Lecture. And I was given the title by David Yates. And the title he suggested was Emergency Medicine in a European Perspective. I said, my God, a European Perspective? There's not such a thing. There's nothing in Europe. What am I going to talk about? So I said, I'll stick to the, to the good old recipe. I talk about what I know. And the major discussion at that time was, do we start with a European society of societies or a European society of individuals? And since in most countries, emergency medicine as such did not really exist, so we said we would make a society of individuals, not of, of societies. And that's how it started. In 1992, I organized in Leuven a course on concepts and developments in emergency medicine for Europe. One of the people brought up the idea with the other courses that they would form at that time the Club of Leuven. And a year later, the Club of Leuven was invited to Poland by one of the people who were there. And they made me clear that it was time to start the European society. It was almost as saying, you've been thinking about it, but you better do it now. Otherwise, somebody else might do it. The healthcare system is going to go through major changes in the coming years. And we have to find our proper place there.